Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another great edition of my Guru Room Show. For the Guru Room Show today, I got a little guest, as you could see. It's my dog, and his name is Buddy, and we call him Little Little Boo Boo too. So wave to the camera, Buddy. Okay, well, you know, no one no one can watch a dog, so I have to bring him on the interview. Um, I am Rocco Cross. I am the host at Stutters. I am the host of the Guru Room, and tonight we're going to interview a very great actor. He stars in a LGBTQ queer horror series on Hair Television, and it's called Gay 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 Gaylians. And I'm going to talk to one of the stars, and his name is Daniel Moser, and I'm looking forward to talking to him. A uh, about the show, about being on Hair Television, which Hair Hair Television is an app where you can can download, and they show a ton of queer films and queer television series, gay, lesbian, trans, and it's a very good it's, it, it, it's a very good app to get. I I I got it. I I I watched I watched gay gay. Gay aliens, and I also watch Demon Demon Hunter, which is another another queer horror ser series that plays on here television. So once again, I am Rocco Cross. This is my groom show, and welcome to my nightmare. Okay, um, welcome to awesome. Groom, and thank you so so much for taking time out of your night and coming on the show. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Yeah, definitely. And we got a little guest today. <laughs> I love it. I'm all for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so like the, the first question I wanted to, to ask you, see my voice is going in and out. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, you know, that's, from, that's from screaming for seven hours at C bands. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what, drew you to want to get in involved with with acting with acting well um i actually didn't know until college that i like really wanted to act um in high school i, I was in show choir for four years um and i really loved being on the stage and, and whatnot but i didn't like really know if i wanted to like actually like do acting or if i just wanted to do music because i'm i'm very much more of a music guy but um when I went to orientation for college, I was like, I was telling them I want to do music. And then they walked me through the music department. And I was like, you know, I think I'd rather do like more like musicals and stuff. And they're like, oh, you have to go to the theater department. And so um, I was like, okay. So I kind of like took my little freshman self over and uh, they were like, oh yeah, we'll take you. Yeah, hey, what's up? And I was like, I was like, hey. Um, and from there on, I was like, I, I enjoyed it. I loved everything. I loved studying it. Um, I love being on the stage, yeah. um, being in front of a camera too. It's more of a newer thing. I didn't really get into film more like the, the camera stuff until like my senior year of college. Oh, but, wow. okay. um, I'm just very drawn to being in front of an audience, which I mean, you might say is uh, probably because of I'm a middle child. So that's probably why, but <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm I'm actually a only child, so Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, I'm like, eh. Uh, it has its it's 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 ups and downs. Like the ups are you get to to hog the television and exactly. And when you're a kid, you get like the full attention of the family. So Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um me yeah you know i i mean i have eight siblings so oh wow um, really <laughs> yeah big family yeah, so yeah, always had somebody to do something with but you know not a lot of like room for like myself i guess okay. but yeah so that's probably one thing that drew me to theater the most uh is that middle child syndrome i think is what uh, they call it where uh, you're, i'm just like hey i want to be seen not that like i wasn't but um I just like to say that that's what that is. So. <laughs> one one of of eight kids, like you 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 could have started a team. Like you could have went out for like sports and started like a whole a whole team. 
whole baseball team right there. We would go and play baseball, but I mean, you know, the 11 of us, including my parents, we would have to, you know, split in half, four and five or something like that, you know. Um, but <laughs> still fun. <laughs> nice. <laughs> It looks like one of like the first first films you actually did was a horror short called Lake Lake House. And yeah. Can you tell me like about you play Grady? Yeah. So that was um, again, my senior year, we uh, had an alumni come in. Uh, his name is Charles and he uh, wanted to help. um he had, he had heard about like all these like film festivals going on and like horror film, I guess specifically. And so he wanted to make like a like anthology of, of short horror films um, to put into that. And so one of them, we like he put us into a group and um, had us kind of brainstorm ideas uh, trying to do like maybe local like Evansville, Indiana legends. And then if we didn't get enough from that, we could kind of branch out. And I forget how um, the lake house came to be, but um, he had me play Grady, which is like these, these, this couple is, or not couple, sorry, it's a brother and sister. Can't mix that up. Um, they're going to this lake house, or that's like a summer home for them. And the neighbor Grady just shows up and I'm kind of the um, bad guy in that one. Oh, that's um, awesome. I just caught sir a little bit of trouble in it. So it was really fun to do. We just, it took not super long. I think we did it in one or two days and just kind of went out there and shot it and had it. So nice. Yeah. So, so like, how much fun is it to actually play, play the villain? It's a blast. It, I'll tell you that much. Um, I love it because it really like, I think that's one way to really grow like as an actor is having to play these people that are seen as bad because you yourself, like when you're doing that, have to objectively like find ways to tell yourself you are right in like right, what you're exactly. doing, even though like you're playing this horrible person, you have to like find a way to stay true <laughs> as you're doing it. And so it's, it's honestly a lot of fun, but also it can be challenging. Um, in order to like again live that truth well yeah exactly because like i i i know um i don't know if you ever saw like they, they made a movie called my my friend Dahmer, and it's about jeff jeff Dom, Dahmer, and the the actor ross ross lynch actually plays jeff jeff Dom, Dahmer. And um, and I was reading an interview with him where he said, like, to actually he had to actually get into like Jeff, Jeff Dahmer's like head. And and it, it was like crazy, like how he had to get into a serial killer's head and 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 like try to be him for like the length of the time the film was shot. And yeah. he said, like, when the film was done, he needed a break like he had to get his head straight because his his mind was in jeff jeff dahmer's head yeah i could imagine that <laughs> i i could not um like i i haven't had the opportunity to play something like as big as that you know yeah. and i could only imagine how mentally straining that would be um especially with like topics that actually happened are based on real life exactly. scenarios too exactly. so wow yeah i, know, I have I not know. seen that yeah but. it's actually a really good film and ross ross lynch does an amazing job i mean he went from doing a tv series for for Di dis for disney and oh. right from disney he became a serial killer <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of awesome though that's range right there so <laughs> i know it is <laughs> <laughs> and um you're you're part of a of a new horror horror show a horror, a horror television series that's part of here television and yeah. it's a queer horror series and can can you tell us a little bit about how you wound up getting getting the role of zach for the series yeah so um i uh had done a 
stage production of Dial M for Murder back in October. Um, and the director who I had just met and instantly like became friends with Jacob uh, Belinsky. He was yeah. the, uh, I believe the director of photography is what the title is um, for that episode. And um, he's really, he's good friends with the director, Mark. Um, and he had brought up to me, he was like, hey, Mark is needing somebody for this role of this uh, pilot uh, of this TV series. And would you like be down for it? And he kind of like gave me low down of like what all it would entail. And I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? You know, yeah. um, that's a really cool opportunity. I'm not going to turn that down. Um, and so he got me in contact with Mark and uh, Mark was really cool and welcoming, like right from the start. So um, it was a, it was a good experience overall, but essentially uh, the director of photography got me in contact with the director and that's how um, I ended up getting to be a part of that. Wow. That's so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. And, and for, for anyone who hasn't like heard about the series or seen it, can you tell us a little bit about what, what the series is and about who Zach is? Yeah, so the show is called Galians, um, and it's an anthology series that um, is horror, and I think, like, um, is, like, horror and, like, comedies and some of them, drama and some of them. This first this first episode is more horror and drama, mm -hmm. um, but this character, Zach, he is um, graduating high school, and he's, like, thinking about, like, what he's going to be doing for college. He wants to go to the, the space program and at NASA, and... Um, you know, his parents are like, no, like you are going to go to trade school. You are going to get like a solid job, but having your head in the stars, you know? Yeah. Um, and he meets the star quarterback, uh, Ricky, who is this uh, kid who, who is like peaking in high school. Mm -hmm. um, and so like you kind of this this episode is about kind of their relationship kind of developing um kind of building toward uh the big like alien reveal um and it, this this episode's about mothman it's called love and the mothman yes yes um so you get you know to see mothman in that and it's yeah. it's pretty cool i know it is that i like i really like liked it a lot like the the first 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 episode's free on here so anyone could yeah. actually see it <laughs> yeah that's good <laughs> and um like the 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 scene um the scene where where zach and ricky the star star quarterback when they're they're in the car driving ricky ricky's talking about like you know how how he's this big sports star and how he gets all these girls and has sex with them and and your character Zach is, is seeing through that like he's he's like putting on a front and Ricky is on more like on the 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 down the down the down low because once Zach makes the move on Ricky he goes full full force with it and yeah. um and what I like about that, like I, I want to get your opinion on this. Like, it was a slow build up to Zach and Ricky finally hooking up, making out. Like it was a, a, a slow build, build, build up, but it got your uh, uh, ten tension to the point where you were like, okay, there's something between them. I, I, I wonder if, if something's going to happen, if one of them's going to act on it. And when it actually happens, it was, it's like, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so that I agree with you. It is just like this, that, that is also, it is this big buildup uh, in their relationship forming. Yeah. And um, that's essentially like how I wanted to play it was that kind of like, you know, seeing through what Ricky was saying. Um, there's any, any of my friends I've turned it to, they're like, oh, Daniel, there's the eye roll, you know, <laughs> just like uh, to some of the things he says, because yeah, it's, it's me knowing like I am in the, as Zach, like Zach is like a kid who is gay. He is um, out as that. He, he knows the signs, you know, that some, or I want to say the signs, I guess, um, the, the tells that somebody is closeted because, 
or that Ricky is closeted because he's saying all these things that, you know, I might have said as, yeah, exactly. as Zach. Like I would have, I would have said, um, yeah, that I'm getting all these girls. I'm having sex with so many girls, you know? And it's like, are you really, or is there something else going on there? You know? <laughs> I know that that was, that was, that was awesome. Like I loved it. Like the, the, the slow build up, the you and him talking, both getting scared of the moth man, <laughs> and, yeah. and yeah. you know, and you two actually forming a re relationship towards the end, and um, like you and and to to Mario, the one who plays plays Ricky, like it really seems seems like you two hit it off well because like the make the makeout scene is very intense so you definitely have to be good with one another in in order to make it look so real yeah and I, I feel like we did get pretty comfortable really quick um it was really quick from night one of doing just a read through of the screenplay uh to i think it was either night two or sorry night three or night four or day i guess we did it during the day um where we had to, you know, be stripped down, making out all of that. Um, but he was really easy to get along with from the start, really easy to talk to. I just remember having like a good experience with him. So he was, he was a great uh, scene partner to have uh, for it. And so it, it made it, made it uh, less uncomfortable, I guess. It's yeah. not that like either of us i don't really want to speak for him but you know i i personally didn't feel any discomfort from having oh, yeah. to do all this with somebody new that i you know only know in a couple days but um yeah i i i felt like it, it was a really smooth process of having to you know develop that relationship and then um in the scene and then uh execute the uh big climactic moment of i'm gonna make this move on ricky exactly yeah nice and and like is this like the first uh, could i know you, you did the late the lake house and this like is this like the first the first time you ever had a scene like that like a kissing scene uh yes something okay. to, to that that scene's extent um where just like the entire everything leading past that the um the sex and all of that like it it uh is the first time i had to do something like that so oh wow okay yeah but again the entire experience it was it was smooth i was uh i didn't ever feel like uncomfortable yeah it was uh mark really created a nice safe space to uh make this scene happen and make it happen in a way that uh felt like it's true Okay, don't you stop? <laughs> this little guy's trying, trying, oh. trying to go around. <laughs> so, so, so now I have to ask this: like, if you were ever driving on on a road with no cars, like uh, when you guys are driving in that scene, like there's absolutely no cars around. It's it it it's dead. And if you were driving on the road and it was just you on the road and you encountered something called a moth man what would you do <laughs> oh man I, <laughs> i'd have to convince myself i am either way too tired or <laughs> that it didn't happen otherwise i would be so scared i would be hitting 90 like not even caring like, I, I would want a cop to come pull me over so that there's at least somebody around to, like and then, you know, they'd be like, okay, you're on something, kid. And then take <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I know what I saw. <laughs> I, 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 I could see that, like, a cop be like, is there a reason you're speeding? A, moth, a giant moth man is coming after me. Did you not see him, the big red eyes? <laughs> 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 and and for for this show are, are you because all, all i saw was the the first one like i haven't seen any more after that because I, I i haven't seen like any, any more coming out like 
like are are you in more than just the first first episode um yes there is um mark has a couple more episodes uh that are written and um i am in one of them i'm not entirely sure where it falls in line um but it is entirely different from the first episode like i said it's an anthology series so you know um i don't i mean i don't know what he has planned but so far it doesn't seem like they're not really you know connecting it's not the same characters all that so um but yeah i'm i'm excited for that to come out he he's got a lot of great other actors on uh these projects too um who i've gotten to actually like work with before and and um I'm really excited to see like what all they like um, have done in these in these other episodes too. But nice. Um, nice. yeah, so there there are a few more coming out, um, and I'm I'm in one of them. So all right, good. Yeah, that's awesome because I I think you did a really good good job with the with 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 the one that I saw the the episode with the moth the moth man and I I thought you were like really great in it and. The whole oh, thank you. The whole the whole show was good between you, you know, Zach and Ricky, and then the weird guy in the suit that pulls you over, and it turns out to be mm-hmm. him. <laughs> yeah, so, like, everything about that was was great. I loved it. Thank you. Yeah, it was it was really fun. It was a small cast, but it was people I'm very familiar with. Um, I think Tamario and Mark were the only people I hadn't met before then, but. The guy in the in the studio is actually my best friend. His name's Hunter. Um, okay, I'll read so, it. yeah. So they were they were looking for somebody to uh, fill that role as well, and I was like, "Hey, I can get my friend in on this." And so, um, oh wow, that's made awesome. that happen. So yeah, it was it was really fun that uh, I was able to work with him. It was our first like big project together. So nice. nice. Yeah, very exciting. Okay. And what do you like like doing? during your free free time when you're not all auditioning for for films or or theater um well aside from like making money working um i <laughs> i'm i'm a video game guy that's something i'll oh, do sweet. i'll admit it i i love i love myself a good video game um nice. i've been reading more books um currently on the count of monte cristo so if i said oh, okay. that right monte cristo so reading that um and i am a huge like board game nerd as well so oh, really? i always oh. try to try to hang out with people and get that together um i also um have been really getting into golf so i've been, <laughs> been playing golf going out on the courses with some of my buddies that's always a good time okay but so, yeah so, so what kind of board games do you like to play Ooh, well, uh, my favorite one's actually a horror one. It's called Betrayal at House on the Hill. Basically, oh, man, these, I never heard of that. It's really fun. You're like these, all these like explorers inside of this haunted house, and like you kind of like reveal a house as you go along, and it's it has like a two phase thing to the game. It's really fun. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, I it's a it's a. It yeah, I highly recommend it. Really good game. Nice, nice um yeah i i'm very much like a social person so that's okay that's all i like to i like to hang with people have fun with other people i used to like playing playing clue did you ever you, did you i'm sure you played clue who's a fun one yeah for sure trying to guess who did it with what <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and what about video games like what kind of, of of gaming system do you have or do you play on the computer um i'm very much like a um kind of a little bit of everywhere i have a switch so i'll play on that a lot uh which i have all like the mario like games that are like mario kart mario party smash bros all that love that love playing with people love getting my butt handed to me whenever (laughs) i (laughs) challenge them um but then i'm also into like you know just those like first person um rpgs like Mm -hmm. you know uh, the Fallout series is probably one of my favorite series of all time. Nice, uh, nice. Skyrim, stuff like that. Um, oh, Assassin's nice. Creed as well. I love, like, just the historical side of all that. It's really cool. 
Um, I've heard a lot of cool stuff about Ubisoft and what they do to make those happen. So. Oh, wow. So, so do you, do you have like play PlayStation four, PlayStation five or anything? Um, I'm on PlayStation. I had Xbox for a while, but then mm-hmm. I ended up selling that cause I really wanted to switch and I really wasn't playing the Xbox all that much. So I got rid of that, got the switch. Um, and then recently got a, a PlayStation a PS4. So, um, nice. It's nice. Yeah. They kind of jumping on those bigger games. Oh yeah. I, yeah. That's what I have too. A PlayStation four. I haven't upgraded to five yet, but, but I'm loving the games on PlayStation four. So I'm not, I'm not ready for five yet. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> I heard that like you can like upgrade like some of those games if they don't have like a PlayStation 5 version. I think you can just re-download them if you get one. But then like some of the versions that they have a PS5 version for like a small price, you can just upgrade those games to it. Oh, really? So there's like something cool that PlayStation's doing with it. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I definitely have to play you in some games on PlayStation 4. Yeah, right. (laughs) (laughs) add me i'll lose <laughs> uh i'll probably be the one to lose i'm not i'm not that good when i play against some someone they they always find a way to beat me yeah yeah yep that's how it goes <laughs> and, and i always ask ask guys this and i had them on because i'm like a big horror fan do you like watching horror movies and if you do what are some horror films you like well, um, I actually like hadn't been that big into horror before until okay. I met Jacob. Um, because I just like I never really like watched them, never really had a desire to. And then I met Jacob, who's like this like big like horror movie nut. And then I'm like, I need to see these movies just to like I love watching them now, just to kind of see like the effects they use. We just uh he just had me watch the Evil Dead, like oh my god, yes. the original to yes. uh, Army yes. of Darkness, and then the remake. Um, and I actually got my wisdom teeth out this past week, so I've been like on strict like couch potato behavior, and so I've just been on HBO looking up all their horror movies. Oh, yes. um, I just watched, um, I think the Friday the Thirteenth remake, and then the um, yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street remake um yeah that one wasn't as good <laughs> yeah no i <laughs> i watched it and i was like oh okay yeah um <laughs> i watched the shining recently uh all the way through for the first time yeah. amazing loved it um same for like hereditary oh yeah that's a that's a crazy film yeah i've seen i've just been on a whole horror movie binge this week so oh my god that's so awesome i love i that. loved it i loved every second of it it's been a lot of fun so nice yeah nice. yeah it, it was it was funny that that night on elm street the remake was was so bad yeah and, and I, remember I had to interview one of the actors from the film and and um, oh really that's and, exciting from, though from the re re the remake of elm street and i interviewed him because he had he had some some music that was coming out so you know we're talking about the music and then, and then at the end of the interview, I said, I have to ask this. I was like, I was like, what are your thoughts on all the negative press for the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street? He goes, oh, man, you went there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the perfect response. <laughs> you went there. He's I like, love really that. Went there. And he was like, oh, man. He was like, let's just say he's a, when I went on the set for the film, the script that we were handed the first was totally different than what was actually on the movie. He oh said it was, God. he said that the, the, everything was screwed up on that set. The director was screwed up. He, he said it was just a messed up set, a messed up script. And he says, and we were all couldn't wait to get everything done and over with. I was like, yeah, it showed. I said, Jeez. <laughs> that's tough especially for like something as anticipated as a remake of that like i know i know i couldn't imagine and and then you had the fans saying no it's not robert england playing freddy because robert england is the one who always played freddy in every movie yeah and it was another actor that was playing freddy so yeah 
and you know it's not like marvel or dc where you can really like have somebody else play that role and it makes sense because there's a thousand universes no it's <laughs> freddy krueger you know you, <laughs> if you're gonna do it you should probably have somebody do, like that's the same guy play it I know, you know right? but <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if you watched that that tv show strain stranger things oh i love stranger things i just finished part one of season four yeah well the blind guy remember remember they went to go visit the 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 old man and he and he was blind he had his eyes out yeah yeah that's actually freddie is it really that's the actor that plays freddie like original freddie yeah that's insane i did not know that yeah Oh my gosh, that's great! Yeah, Robert Rob Rob Robert England is the guy that plays Freddy, and he Robert had England. and he had a cameo in in the show where he played he he played the the father and the one that was that took his eyes out, the one that was yeah. blind in the cell. And Jeez, it was like when I saw him one day, I was like, "Oh my god, this is so amazing!" Because he was talking in his Freddy voice. I love that. That I mean, that makes me just appreciate that show like that much more <laughs> that they they had him in it, and it was right under my nose. So I did not know that. And then I I forgot which one of the kids was saying it. I think it was Dustin that was saying it when they were saying something about about like the the horror and monsters, and he's like, yeah, he goes this 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 demon that's in the other world. He's almost like freddy freddy krueger and the girl didn't know who freddy krueger was he said you never saw elm street <laughs> i didn't even make that connect i mean that's exactly i mean i that monster really does like remind me of it but she, she i couldn't imagine i mean that would probably would be me too i'd be on the set with with robert england and i'd be like be like uh who's freddy krueger <laughs> you did uh you sure you want to ask? I know, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That's amazing though. I love that. I feel like that's a really great like set to be on. I know, I know, exactly. It looks like so much fun. Yeah. Looks like they like just you know get up and they're like, all right, we're gonna make this work and we're gonna have a great time doing it. Mm. Bringing in all these awesome people. Definitely. And are you a fan of like Halloween season, like dressing up for Halloween and all that? Uh, yes and no. I love like, I guess it kind of depends on the year. Like if I really have plans, then I'm going like hard for it. But if like, there's just like, kind of like, you know, nothing's really going on. I, I, uh, I would love for it to happen. Like I would love to like do something like every year, but sometimes it just doesn't, yeah. um, last, like last year I did a very, um, thrown together Finn Merton's costume from Adventure Time. I just did a white, a light blue shirt over a white hoodie. But nice, um, nice. the year before, I like spent a bunch of money to like put together my own Danny Phantom costume. It didn't come out as good as I wanted it to be, but I am still proud of the end product of that. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I still have that picture up on, on my Instagram or not, but... <laughs> It might still be. I think it's still out on the social somewhere. So. Oh, nice. <laughs> but um, I did my best. So <laughs> I, I love when my heart is in it, I am like all for it. Um, I do love getting to like, I'm, sh I'm still trying to like find like a good tradition of like, you know, I'm going to watch this movie every year. Mm -hmm. um, but uh as of right now i kind of just like go with again like whatever my friends are doing if they're like hey we're gonna get together and do this do that i'm all for it um when i was younger in my hometown we had um you know like a haunted it was called the haunted castle which yeah, was kind of yeah, yeah. goofy but um we like would go there and it'd be kind of scary but then they had the black forest as well so you could like buy like a dual ticket so you go to the castle and then to the nice. forest and the forest is what got me because they had guys running around all the time with like with the chainsaw. chainsaw sounding things and then at one point they have like a, a very disorienting like 
house of mirrors and so you're like walking <laughs> in it and you're like oh there's me there's me where's the exit and then suddenly like i just vividly remember i'm like so thrown off and disoriented by like the sounds the electricity whirring and then the mm-hmm. blinking lights mm-hmm. and then i just see this dude in like a knapsack and with a giant chainsaw peek around the corner and it's like he's everywhere suddenly and i was never so scared <laughs> in my life i remember trying, like, running into mirrors as i'm trying to get out of there but <laughs> <laughs> it's always a good time. Nice. <laughs> um, what about songs? Like, what kind of music do you like? What's on your playlist? I um, I always tell people I'm like basic, but um, I'm a huge like fan of Panic at the Disco and Fall Out Boy. Those are like oh, the two yeah. two bands I listen to the most. Nice. Um, nice. And would give any limb or organ to go see them uh in concert so i was very excited when when panic was like hey we're coming out with another tour (laughs) um so that that's that's kind of like my music case i i try to like branch out a little bit i've been making like blends on spotify with um some friends to like kind of like get what they listen to and i've been finding like a little bit more um variety yeah i guess rather than like emo to like pop now um so that's i love like i love doing that too is like collaborating with music because um i feel like that's one really like good way to kind of share like a bit of your soul with somebody nice but yeah to answer your question it's (laughs) just panic and fallout (laughs) okay okay they're they're both great great bands oh yeah their songs are their songs are great yeah, yeah. Um, I'm mainly like the main thing that draws me to them is because everybody like I'll tell people like those are my two favorite bands and like some people are like you know they just don't listen to them or don't like them. They're like, okay, uh, why? Okay. It's their it's their voices. They yeah. I am I'm a huge fan of when somebody is able to like really use their voice to its fullest extent, um, and like can just like do whatever they want with it. I feel like that's that's brendan and and patrick they just that's what they do okay yeah and if you were doing karaoke with your friends would that be one of the songs you sing wonders yeah <laughs> it's it's on it's on the list it's that or uh if i'm like not feeling like trying to tr- you know drunkenly show off i do like feeling good by michael buble you know or, or like oh, you're the yeah. michael buble version of it um or yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. Um, I'll, I'll 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 feel the sometimes you gotta you know feel the vibe, but well, well yeah yeah of course you do. <laughs> you have to feel the vibe, and it depends on how how drunk you are too. Exactly, you know, one drink in, you're like, ah, I'll probably you know stick for it. You know, you get five drinks in, you're like, all right, I don't care, I'm screaming into this microphone. Right. <laughs> like everybody, get up here, we're doing Sweet Caroline. <laughs> That that definitely is a, a song that everyone oh oh <laughs> yep that yeah <laughs> nice <laughs> it's always a good time though I love karaoke I, I will never turn down going if somebody's okay. like hey yeah yeah I I I go to those often like it's it's not my first choice but if, if my friends are like oh we're we going to karaoke tonight i'll be like all right and then i'll be <laughs> sitting there and they'll be like oh you have to get up oh, i'm not singing i'm not singing have a shot drink yeah i'm not a couple more shots all right where's the book <laughs> <laughs> exactly you're like can i get my name in? is it too late <laughs> always a blast i know exactly that's how it is <laughs> <laughs> And, um, do you do you have anything coming up that you want to plug like or, or do you have a- any other stuff you're working on or um kind of have to think on that i i actually personally do not um okay. except i don't know uh when that um you know like that lake house and all that i'm not entirely sure when all that is coming out um mm-hmm. when that will be like fully finished um but um that's it i mean that's really all i all, all i have going at the moment um okay. currently in the works of of moving um getting myself up to indianapolis so 
Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for that. But um, as far as like theatrical projects go, I don't really have anything right at the moment. But um, I have a couple couple buddies reaching out with some like potential opportunities to like audition yeah. for and stuff. So nice. Um, really trying to get like my like social medias together, get my like acting accounts up and all of that. So I'm using this downtime to to really like kind of hone in on that. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, you know, you know, if you're ever in Philly, we'll definitely hit up karaoke. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I will send you a message if I'm headed to Philly and I will say, hey, let's go do some karaoke. Okay, that's uh, I'm down for that. I'm all for it. <laughs> <laughs> and last, last, lastly, like where can fans find find you? What are your, your social pages? My social page? Yeah. Um. So you can find me on Instagram. Instagram. Um, I believe I need to double check, but I think it's just, it's Danny Mose 98, uh, D A N N Y M O S E 98. Um, and I believe that's my, that's my Twitter as well. Um, and then I have a, like a Facebook, like acting page that you can look me up on. It's just Daniel Moser. It's me in a, in a red button up that looks like this, but it's red. (laughs) (laughs) Um, (laughs) I, uh, I'm not really like on TikTok all that much. I mean, I'm like, I have a page and stuff, but I really don't post too much on that. Um, okay. but yeah, mainly my big three are, uh, Instagram, uh, Twitter and Facebook. So. Okay. Uh, that, that was why I couldn't find you on, on the gram because I was typing in your name and I was like, wait a minute, all these other guys are coming up. <laughs> all these other guys doesn't look like him. What do you mean? I yeah. Said, that's not, that's not him. That's not how he looks. He don't look like a <laughs> man that's in, in his forties. <laughs> <laughs> I'll grow a, I'll grow a beard and we'll, we'll see about that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's been really awesome talking talking to you and and finally getting chance to see you and talk to you and stuff and and absolutely i feel the same way yeah thank you so much for having me i I was really again really excited whenever uh you requested to to interview me i was like oh okay yeah like sweet i'm i'm down for that (laughs) (laughs) nice man well yeah me and and my little little buddy over here thank you for joining the show (laughs) <laughs> yeah, and I, again, I, I thank you for for having me. This has been been really fun. Definitely has, definitely has, and you're more than welcome back whenever you want. Absolutely, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, have a good night, bud. Hey, you too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>